In the week of releases, OpenAI released Codex 5.1 and GPT 5.1. We got two major releases before Wednesday. We make this one, Uli. Yeah, so this was really funny. This was this uh, GPT 5.1 Codex Max, they are amazing at naming, came out the day after the Gemini 3 releases. And it seems to be that they are just kind of reminding everyone, hey guys, we're actually a little better than you um, at specifically coding in this case. So uh, Gemini did amazingly at pretty much everything except coding. It did fine at coding, but it wasn't quite beating the other state-of-the-art models. And then this this 5.1 Codex Max put it um, at the top of those benchmarks. What's interesting is I think that OpenAI and potentially some others are holding back. They've got stronger models in-house than they're releasing to the public for a couple of reasons. One, I think that they're not optimized for inference. And if they give access to the whole world, they're going to be you know, paying a lot in GPU fees um, for actually running those models for code generation in this case, um, if they were using their really, really good models. Uh, and two, as soon as they put out their models you know, and release them to the world, the Chinese in inevitably uh, distill those models down. They use them as trainer models for their own models and then come out with Kimi K2 thinking or Quen four point something, whatever, right? The next model from the Chinese is often a distilled version with a bit of secret source added of those frontier models. So I think they're keeping their strongest models close to their chest um, so that they can use them in-house for their own competitive advantage. They've got a bit of, you know, models helping them build the next models uh, and not giving that to their competitors while also putting out just enough to show everyone, hey guys, we are, you know, around the same benchmark level as everyone else. Don't forget us. The interesting thing as well, especially for uh, when one of the labs come up with a new paradigm shift, for instance, the mixture of experts came out from one of the Chinese labs earlier in the year. Now, all of the frontier models, Gemini, uh, uh, Claude, and their open AI are all using the same technique. So you're right. They're all probably got so much in the in the bank that they're very strategic about the way they release and in within this two-week period we're seeing all the labs release these new models it's a exciting time need help with ai solutions click on the channel link and follow the link tree